hapon at magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. This is Jamie, back at it again for another Facebook Live. Kamusta po kayo? Namisik you po tayo, pero hindi ibig sabihin nun, eh kailangan nyo nang lumabas at mag- I mean, magsisila ba sa na kayo? I've seen some photos in social media na nagdidikit-dikit na mga tao. Super crowded, nakakaloka. Delikado po yun. Baka may ma-encounter kayong asymptomatic. Hindi nyo alam na nahawaan na kayo. Huwag nyo pong hayaang mag-uwi kayo ng sakit or virus sa pamilya nyo. Please, hindi, if hindi nyo po kailangang lumabas, stay at home. That way, we can also help our frontliners. Let's stop the spread by staying at home, okay? All right, sige. Now, this uh, topic is very interesting. Um, actually, na-discuss na sa natin siya dun sa dating part ni Ms. Venus Ra. If, if you remember, kung, naki, kung nanonood kayo ng Motivational Monday every Monday, no? Napag-usapan na natin to. Pero now... Mas i-deeper pa natin yung topic na pag-uusapan natin ngayon. So before that, don't forget to like and share this video para naman ma- makita at mapanood ng inyong mga mahal sa buhay how to stay sane during this lockdown. Kasi sobrang tagal na talaga natin nga sa bahay. Tino natin alam ko anong dapat pa natin gawin. And right now, I know maraming... Uh, nag- naging anxious, uh, maraming nag-overthink kung ano ba yung future na meron tayo ngayon because sobrang limited na mga pwede nating gawin right now, especially na nasa bahay lang tayo. Okay, so yeah, people are asked to stay at home. Uh, maraming nagsiset ng curfews. Actually, lahat na restaurants, sarado, minsan, stricted lang sila for a takeout. Maraming nawawala ng trabaho, unfortunately. And Kids uh, have to stay at home indefinitely. Uh, the physical events such as concerts, sporting events, and movies are canceled. For many people, the world now seems unlike anything they they recognize. And yet, lives must go on because wala naman din time choice, right? So we must find ways to keep our heads about us to stay sane. The question is how. Okay, so to talk about this interesting topic, let me introduce to you our speaker. He's the founding president of Amazon Training and chairman of the Elevation Incorporated, a nonprofit organization that discovers and develops servant leaders and public speakers to organize short and long-term community projects. He's a recipient of Saranghe Integrity Award of Pasig Student Consumer Cooperative, University Leadership Award, and Social Civic Awards in Pasig in 20 of Pasig in 2011. He received a certificate on social entrepreneurship and youth leadership from Ateneo de Manila University School of Government, and currently studying to acquire masters in public management from the same said school. He has pioneered several businesses in various industry such as retail, distribution, gas and oil, health and wellness, publishing, marketing, and construction. In 2010, he served as a member of the Pamantasan ng Lungsod ng Pasig Board of Regents. He is the author of inspirational books such as Ang Mahalaga Bumangon Ka and The Game Plan of the Underdog. He is also a licensed professional teacher who is now maximizing his purpose in training and public speaking. Please welcome to talk about how to stay sane during this pandemic. Please welcome Mr. Marlon Molisa. Hi, sir. Hi, sir. Yeah. Thank you so Hi, much sir. for Yes, po. Hello. Kamusta po kayo, sir? Based dun sa information at sa, sa bio niyo, sir, dami niyong ginagawa. Ano po ba during this lockdown na doon pinagkakaabalahan niyo ngayon? Actually, sakto lang. But um, uh, basically, as you said, uh, I'm handling a training company as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, the past months, actually, I was uh, focusing and uh, putting all of my energy sa aming non-profit organization. Mm-hmm. So, it's to, ano lang, um, it is elevation. Anyway, so mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. pronounced. Pero, yun nga, um, I was uh, focused more on helping the communities through our mm-hmm. NGO. And uh, nag, nag-close muna kami temporarily with the uh, yeah. M-Zone training. We believe that the nation needs more uh, non-profit organizations or mm-hmm. uh, organizations who would mm-hmm. especially you know, mm-hmm. fund it. So, sir, so, ano pong pinagkakaabalahan nyo ngayon during quarantine days? Yeah, 
Okay, uh, yun nga, aside from that, um, I'm I'm focusing on 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 the uh, mga konting mga mga pagtulong, uh, especially mm-hmm. like people fundraising with our closest people. Um, I also recently, I think just um, last week, we reopened our business, so medyo nag mm-hmm. nag wala na ulit uh, sa circulation ng business. Tapos, at the same time, uh, uh, yun, I, I'm I'm having my time with my family. Mas mm-hmm. madami. Uh, but of course, hindi rin dapat iwanan yung, yung negosyo. That's why, mm-hmm. um, yeah. from time to time, may mga ginagawa kami na meeting, online meetings para ma-establish yung business. Uh, lalo na, ito sa next normal. Okay. This is a yeah. next normal but then a new normal. Because uh, the two days we are now entering dun sa panibagong ikot ng mundo. So yes, yeah, something that. Ang I, sabi nga po nila talagang hindi na tayo mababalik sa dating normal. So we have to prepare for the new normal. Okay, yes. so sir, I've seen this word, and to be honest, first time ko siyang narinig, and I'm really uh, curious dito sa word nato. Ang um, word nato kasi is cabin fever. Can you tell us sir what what is that? Yeah, basically your cabin fever um kasikat yan sa 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 US ginagamit. Especially ngayon dito rin naman, adapt na natin ang ibig sabihin lang yan in a layman's term is that um we we are we have this fear of of being stuck in a place or so it is somehow um deep, I mean similar with the uh, claustrophobic. Alam niyo, claustrophobic. It's more of the mm-hmm. yeah. ng mga pupulong sa isang, uh, sa isang lugar. Takot sa maliliit na space. Mm-hmm. And I think because of, the, of that situation, nangyayari is that there is a sudden change with our with our emotions. So, mm-hmm. na din, the, 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 the fear, um, what else? I guess the, the uncertainties of what will happen, so everything, something like that. So, medyo mm-hmm. um, may, may negative feelings because of that uh, yes. isolated that nice isang isolated space Okay. Kasi yun, sir, kasi di ba parang mga <laughs> mga unang linggo ng lockdown, talagang excited pa yung mga tao kasi ay magstay lang kami sa bahay, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Gawin mo na lang yung mga gusto mong gawin sa bahay na hindi mo pa nagagawa. Naalala ko sinabi yun ni President Duterte. So, siguro ngayon nauubos na sila and wala na talaga masyadong ginagawa sa bahay. So, can you tell us, sir, what are the creative distractions we can do to avoid this cabin fever? Yeah, actually na, natatakot lang naman ng karamihan ng tao sa sa atakulong or yung 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 space, uh, I mean yung closed space because um merong fear na na stuck na sila doon. Uh, but I guess some of the, the ways that we can, you know, overcome that is of course we have to go outdoor from time to time. How safe naman, meaning to say parang hindi naman na uh, na lalabag yung tinatawag nating enhanced community quarantine. So, if you have a space in your home, like a terrace, or ba, um, if you have um, yung mga park, I mean, uh, mayroon kayong garden sa inyong bahay, you know, pwede kayo lumabas. But if your space is too small, I mean, yung simple lang na pagtingin sa sa window, you know, that, that could help. Kasi um, that's the number, one, one of many ways that we can do it. Of course, um, hmm. some can also do this. Um, you know, you, you is actually nakakatulog na ito kasi dinadala ka niya sa ibang generation at somehow parang na, na, na feel mo na ah, okay, there's a lot of that parang meron na. So, ang kuto lang dyan is, you know, you can also read books, um, you can uh, chat with friends, um, you know, malis ka lang dun sa, sa idea na nakakulong ka. Uh, in fact, um, hindi ka nakakulong. So, happen lang na na for your safety, you are not allowed to go out. So, mm-hmm. I guess, ang pinakapunto lang nito is minsan, um, therapeutic ka din daw, sabi ng mga expert, yung pagtatanim, um, yung pagtatanim ng, ng halaman, um, mm-hmm. that could also be done, actually. So, uh, there are many ways. Uh, you can, uh, you know, attend webinars just to meet new people outside of your space. And, uh, of course, you can, you can uh, have chats with your close friends <laughs> as well. Um, the best thing that you could also bring those days is maramdaman mo lang na, na ikaw ay hindi nakakulong and makakita ka lang ng sunlight, okay na yun. So, yung mga ganyan bagay, uh, paunti-unti, I mean, nakakatulog ka of your 
Mm-hmm. Well, ito kasi, sir, this personally happened to me. Like, um, nagigilty ka minsan because wala kang ginagawa. Parang napaka-unproductive mo ay nagigilty ka na, ay, wala akong ginagawa to make myself be better. Parang, ano yung, parang napupunta yun sa pagiging nawawala ng self-confidence, nagda-down sila. Ano po ba yung pwede natin gawin sa mga ganong situation na pwede mangyari sa atin? I think, um, pugatin muna natin yung dahilan eh, kung bakit um, pinakamad. Um, I also believe na sometimes hindi natin kailangan pinigil sa sarili na um, in a sense na uh, yes, um, there, there would come a time na really have to be professional in a sense na kailangan yeah. natin gawin ang trabaho kahit ayaw natin. It takes a lot of emotional intelligence or emotional coaching to do that. But um, if, if you want to start with that baseline, it is, of course, you have to build first your internal motivation. And uh, mm-hmm. one way of getting that internal motivation is, there are many ways. Um, first thing is, if you want to, to, to really, I mean, start the day right, you know, start with prayer. Uh, to God and uh, you know also in a practical note you can you can have your music just to set the mood mm-hmm. and uh, that is actually I personally do um every time that I, I wake up talagang nagpi-play muna ako ng mga happy songs just to set my mood and uh, you know yung aking, aking motivation and uh, from time to time you know unti-untiin mo you, you just have to start with the things that you love most doing like mm-hmm. alibawa if mahilig ka sa arts, you know, simula mo muna doon. You know, huwag ka muna magsimula sa mga bagay na ayaw mo. Pero, I think, magsimula ka muna sa mga bagay na gusto mo. Gusto mo, gusto mo, and then, gusto mo ka. And then, after a while, you know, as you build your motivation within the day, you know, you, you, can, you can have and do what you really need to do. So, yun lang. Parang yung pang mga bagay, but, of course, um, the best thing is that you always set the mood. Um, because it, I mean, I, ha- I have one, I have one favorite module that I I did and I developed. That is more of the emotional intelligence and how leaders should have a, 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 a mass uh, capacity of emotional intelligence. And I guess mm-hmm. it, you know, um, of course, it it is based on how we respond to to different situations. So you mga ganon bagay. Pero if if I if you would ask me, mga simpleng bagay lang. You start with the simple things. Medyo um, simula mo muna ng pag-set ng mood sa umaga and then unti-unti mm-hmm. matatapos mo rin. Kaya gawin mo. Well, this is connected naman po. Yung sa sinagot nyo, connected siya dito sa next question ko. My next question po kasi would be what should be prioritized every day? Yep. Um, as I said, um, the, the first thing you have to do is really to pray. Uh, you have to start and end uh, your day with prayer. Uh, I believe that that is the, the most uh, powerful way for you to, to motivate the you So you're getting the from the eternal source, and that is God. And of course, if I could ask, if you would ask me about that, uh, what should be prioritized, of course, I want you to prioritize learning. Um, it, it 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 widens your horizon. Eh? So when you learn from a you know, um, yun din yung mga bagay na, na motivate din sa'yo. Uh, because you know, you would feel that you know there's a lot of things to do. At mm-hmm. the same time, I know you're saying you know, that idle minds are an evil's workshop. So kapag ang utak natin walang ginagawa, then nagmo pasok yung mga negative thoughts or anything. yes, yes, so, totally. Yeah, it's important to not with a positivity or or, or uh, I mean, mga mga, mga hopeful thoughts. And of course, you mga learning as well. So, um, you know, just 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 what is noble, what is noble, what's excellent. Just put this at some point. Because you know that would be like work. Because so, hindi lang. I, I know personally, I I I love those vloggers and YouTubers na na nasa na, 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 na nagkakaroon ng mga mga iba't ibang content on YouTube uh, for entertainment. Mm-hmm. But sometimes, um, also good that. Uh, kailangan din natin salain because there are contents on YouTube na parang wala lang, parang, parang hindi natin alam. It, it can pollute our minds and yes. it could the way we think and the way we behave. So that is why, um, that's why yeah, I, when I was browsing about your page, um, simple as that, yung, 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 lang sila ng webinar about financial literacy, you know, you know that, that could change 
lives. And that could be one of the priorities that they can, they can, um, so, uh, stop learning. don't stop learning. And of course, um, just to add lang, uh, before I, you know, yung, yung, of course, uh, you have to set your day-to-day tasks. So, uh, as I said, okay lang kahit na mag-start ka ng, ng mga bagay na gusto mong gawin or yung mga na uh, motivate ka. But I also encourage na as you do that, dapat meron ka pa rin day-to-day tasks. So that um, you can track it. Okay, um, ano ba yung mga dapat kung tapusin ngayon? So while you're not sure, motivate, okay na, gagawin ko na itong um, mga, mga check, uh, checklist ko. So yun, yun yung mga bagay na can prioritize. Actually, so yeah, I, I agree with you on that. And kasi it's easier to, to be said than done. And nakadepende pa rin talaga sa mindset mo kung gagawin mo ba talaga yung bagay na yun na gusto mo. Kasi minsan natutalo talaga tayo ng katamar. <laughs> like, ako po, guilty ako dyan. Like, mahihiga ako tapos dire-diretso na siya. Parang mag-waste na ako ng time kasi parang sinasabi ko, ay okay lang, wala naman talaga. I mean, lockdown naman eh. Parang natutalo yung isip ko in a way. So, from from that situation or from that uh, experience, sir, what's your advice? Especially to those people na hindi makahanap ng mot- any motivation na gumawa ng anything during this lockdown. I, I think um, aside from, yeah, aside from, paulit-ulit ko sa sabihin nito because I know this is very effective. Uh, aside from prayer and, uh, you know, setting the mood to music, um, it is also best na, na you find the and talk to people whom you think can motivate you. Yeah. Um, especially people who are passionate because uh, based on study passion is contagious so kapag nakikita natin ahawa na. so if you see people who are achieving great parang ikaw meron kang sense in your in yourself na oh gusto ko rin magkakulad na so mm-hmm. rin, so hindi ko pwede tulog-tulog lang ako so mm-hmm. sometimes you, you have to to all, of course uh, it is best that you acknowledge and accept your personal insecurities kasi mm-hmm. um danger kasi when you, you see those people who are achieving and passionate it's either number one uh, you will be motivated to do great things greater things that that person can do or the second thing that uh, danger is of course yung yung may insecure ka na parang gumalaw pa na ganito ganyan sometimes uh, knowing yourself na am I insecure and I mean it's not bad to acknowledge those insecurities um, it is not bad to say na yes I know so I think it's best that you, you acknowledge those. But at the same time, you know, um, have with join the people or a community that can build you up. So uh, to be, you know, to be to be motivated, you know, just in a personal experience like today, um, you know, I mean, every day since the the day one of ECQ, um. Uh, same with you, para sometimes I I I feel na parang nakit lang, parang gusto mo na matulog, gusto mo na matulog, or gusto mo umilata. You know, same with you, I, I feel that. But you know, something that really, really helps me a lot is yung meron na akong mga, mga kaibigan. Uh, meron kaming groups uh, sa, sa, sa group sa, sa, ano, sa, sa Facebook. Or, you know, those people are people na sabi ko mga igniter ko kasi igniter these are the people na kapag nawawalan na ako ng apoy you know sila yung mag-encourage sa akin so that is why this really somehow nagre-remind sa akin na eh hey, uh, okay lang matulog pero wag mong tambayan so you have to do something today more productive so yeah that, that's it I mean, marami pang mga bagay but I guess the pinaka-bottom line na dito is that you have to have community you have to have exactly. Naniniwala din po kasi talaga ako na no man is an island. Talagang kakailangan, kakailangan natin ng tao sa buhay natin. So, yeah. Thank you for that, sir. Um, next question po. Since this isolation sobrang tagal na, like, nag-start yata siya ng March, tama po ba? So, yep. medyo matagal na. And this isolation may have taught us a lot of things. From your experience, yeah. sir, what are, the, uh, what are your realizations experiencing this uh, isolation or this pandemic? Yeah, I think on my page, uh, Marlon Mulmisa, those who are watching, you can, you can like my page. Um, uh, meron ako dun na, na pinos, dalawa pa lang yun, pero I'm thinking to, to, to more. 
um, the first thing that I realized during this lockdown is that um, be be thankful with small things and opportunities. Yeah. That you um, lalo na yung trabaho. Uh, importante na dito sa sa puntong ito na tutungan natin na na i-value yung trabaho. And uh, I think the U.S. more than a million na uh, inawala ng trabaho. And even the, the 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 economic experts here in the Philippines are saying na medyo marami ding mawala ng trabaho dito sa Pilipinas. But you know something that I I, I realize is um, bless tayo kahit na maliit o malaking sweldo natin. Kapag may trabaho tayo, you know it's the best time that we have to give our best. And along the way, um, sinabi ko rin dun sa post ko na. Na, you know those people na nagsipag bago mag lockdown at nagsisipag habang nasa lockdown you know i i think hindi sila mawawalan ng trabaho uh, kung malugi man yung kanilang kumpanya um, they can find another job so sabihin hindi sila magtenga why because um they have this mindset of i want to give more in my company more than i, I would like to get so something that like like i i'm, I'm just saying na parang you know yung mga small things we have to appreciate that Second thing is that I posted kanina lang is that you know life is important than man but yung ipon ay mas mahalaga din um kaysa wala so diba people would say that yeah. na, lalo na sabi na uh, dapat you know um na realize nila na mas mahalaga ang buhay kaysa sa pera which is true i mean i believe that i mean even the 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 president of Ghana said na we, we can we can bring back the Uh, we, we can we can bring back the economy to life, but we cannot we cannot bring life yeah. uh, bring people, people's lives back. So something like that. So, pero um at the same time, I also I also agree na dapat meron karing ipon. <laughs> Kasi yes, yes. during this crisis, kung wala kang ipon, wala. So I believe na of course the government has to. Responsibility sa atin, sa buhay natin. But at the end of the day, uh, pa rin natin. The, the, yeah, the we can't rely po sa government all the time. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, ang punta lang dito is that whether kahit na anong, kahit ilang presidente pa ang dumaan dyan, um, at the end of the day, tayo pa rin ang, buhay pa rin natin, tayo pa rin ang, ang, ang masusunod. Yes. And the last thing that I also realized is, you know, um, I got it from Stephen Covey and I love this book. Um, yung sinasabi niyang circle of concern versus circle of control. In the layman's term, is that mag-focus tayo sa mga bagay na kaya nating kontrolin kaysa sa mga bagay na hindi natin kaya kontrolin. Because, you know, mm-hmm. we will press, especially um, kapag nasa lockdown tayo, especially, you know, uh, your industry also affected our industry, I could say. Um, I'm, I'm, in a, I'm in a training company, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in a training business, You guys, you're also in the training business, but something that you know at the end of the day, realize na parang kung iisipin natin na parati tayo magreklamo, magreklamo, but we're not doing something. I guess walang mga yari sa atin. That's why we have to focus on things that we can control. Kung hindi papayagan magano mag mag live events, you know, let's maximize the the, the online. Yeah. Plan. So you know, magano ba? Actually, marami pa pero. Oras dito, but... It's actually, I agree po sa inyo dun sa don't think about something na hindi mo talaga makokontrol. Like for example, eto ang pandemic, hindi mo naman ito makokontrol. So what you can do is to look for something na sa tingin mo makakatulong sa'yo to, I mean, para hindi ka ma-down. And kahit, ayun po, na, 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 actually nag agree din ako dun sa part na sa savings. Actually, marami po ang nakarealize niyan ngayon. So, yeah. sa mga nanonood sa atin ngayon, please prepare for your emergency fund kasi di natin alam kung kailan talaga magkakaroon ng mga uncertainties na katulad ng ganito na tumitigil yung ating income. Di natin alam kung mawawalan ba tayo ng work or what. So, it is much better talaga to prepare for your future or for some things kesa mag-rely tayo sa so kung anong present ngayon. So, yan. Thank you, sir, for that. Um, next question po. Ito naman para naman sa mga mahal natin sa buhay. Of course, so kung natulungan na natin yung mga sarili natin, how can we check naman the emotions that, of course, you and the people surrounding uh, sa buhay natin? Yung... I mean, paano natin po ma-check yung emotion nila kung okay ba sila or paano natin sila matutulungan? You know, the, the, the very classic uh, way is really to communicate and to ask. Um, mm-hmm. Every time, um, hey, um, 
recently I asked my my team, um, kamusta kayo? Um, you know, simple as that. I mean, communication is very important at this point. Um, being transparent and as well, um, you know, making them feel that you are also feeling what they are feeling. Na parang mm-hmm. acknowledging you're also vulnerable na parang you're not exempted to the rule you're not exempted to 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 what they are you know what what other people feel like kalimbawa um simple lang na sabi mo sa kanila na um i also feel the fear the same fear also experience so something like that um you know the number one is communicate but this is actually the challenge the challenge is uh, tayo mga Pilipino we are actually uh let's say indirect communicator so we say indirect communicator parang if, 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 if i would ask you kumusta ka you know there are people who would say okay lang <laughs> so alam mo yun parang yeah. but, <laughs> in fact they're not okay parang we're not we're, we're actually indirect communicator i mean that's 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 tested yeah, i've been working with multinational companies and uh, yeah. i that there are companies that i work with na talagang sobrang direct to the point as being saying you if 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 um hindi siya uh, di siya satisfied sa work mo pero tayo mga Pilipino padadaanin pa natin sa kung saan-saan so um okay what, what I'm, okay lang but, but what I'm just trying to say is that um you know not just communicate but also to elevate our art of questioning um instead of you know instead of kamusta ka you know you can probably ask um um hey bro anong balita sa buhay so something like that instead of kamusta ka anong balita so so be um yon walang trabaho si Mrs or what so I guess uh it's more of elevating the art of questioning um na na you can you can say you, you can innovate as well but like kalimbawa if that person would not you know willing to to share something um na parang I mean I think it's more of trust issues then eh. so parang to share sa iyo yung isang tao kung hindi ka niya pinagkakatiwalaan. That's why sometimes it's best din na uh, um, yung non-verbal na lang, basahin mo na lang. Um, something that I, I learned throughout my journey as a leader, uh, practitioner, because I'm more of a leader more than a businessman. Um, something that I learned is really yung idea of defense mechanism that um, if they are hurting other people, probably they are hurt because hurt people hurt people. Yeah. So, to say mm-hmm. if they are sharing um hurt post on social media ay nasasaktan to kapag may mga ano siya na po siya political na galit siya sa gobyerno galit siya sa mga dilawan o galit siya sa mga kung sino-sino politiko probably this guy is hurt and i guess um he would rather um you know inspire this person to be healed more than to, you know paypayan yung galit niya so something like that you know you can you can you can pwede mong pag-aralan din yung mga non-verbal um, actions niya. Um, and if people are, you know, malalaman mo naman kung stable ang isang tao kapag, you know, parating um, architect, kapag, kapag hindi na, uh, you know, kapag hindi na nananakit ng iba or secure sa sarili niya, you know, mararamdaman mo yan eh. Pero if this person is puro hate post or, you know, nagpapa paparinig or something like that probably this guy or this person is hurt so kumustahin mo na siya kumusta ka or something like that so yeah and mga bagay and uh, i guess um that help of course for you you know to plan um what uh, uh, and i think the last note na pala um i guess for for this season i-assume na lang natin na hindi okay ang lahat i think that's the best way um because you know the crisis crumble lang lahat kahit na sabihin natin na na mayaman yan or 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 malaman natin na secure siya sa buhay kasi pinalang natin okay lahat so um with that kind of thing or mindset that, you know focus on 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 inspiring people or encouraging people so yun yung pinaka the best way to think para at least you assume na lahat may pinagkataanan so lahat I have to, to do something to encourage those people. Well, actually, sir, kasi diba, people are different talaga. As in, may mga, may mga taong sabihin na nating 
uh, hindi masyadong kasi na, na-experience ko na po eh, parang hindi sila masyadong nangangamusta pero that doesn't mean na wala silang pakialam ngayon. Everyone is parang sensitive ngayon eh. So parang iniisip nila na ay hindi ako nakamusta nito siguro hindi ko na siya friend or parang alam mo yon parang na-hurt ka pero there are some people naman na better sila na hindi sila pinapakailamanan. So, I think depende pa rin po siguro kung paano ka makikipag-communicate din sa mga friends or loved ones na hindi masyadong sabihin na natin yung love language nila is hindi words of affirmation <laughs> or hindi nila masyadong maano yun. So, sa mga ganun, sir, sa mga ganung tao na hindi mo mapapakalma na, na through words, ano pa po yung pwede nating i-ano sa kanya? I think mm. yeah, I think I like yung 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 love languages. Um, you know, it's best that you so identify the love language of the person. Um, tama yung sabi mo na hindi lahat words of affirmation like like me. Um, you know, my wife is is asking or demanding me to be um words of words of affirmation. But in fact, uh, that's one of my least atay words of affirmation. <laughs> Pero um, I can I can I can I can work on it, but um. More of the love every time that I my mom made it to serve to me. They say next mm-hmm. because that's the number one. Ano din, um, uh, love language for other people. I love serving other people. So means an parang I'm also nagahanap din ng ng service for other people. So something like that. After that, you know, you you first identify ano ba yung partner na um, yun. Maybe you see the gift lang online parang or magpadala ka lang ng ng ano mag magpadala ka lang or lalamove or or grab food you know mm-hmm. emotion person so that one and of course i also use yung yung way of knowing the personality of a person so mm-hmm. there are people also I also love this module, yung, yung the DISC. I am one of the practitioners of DISC kasi. And I, I categorize person, not totally stereotyping them as a whole, as the entire person, but um, through that, I'm able to learn kung ito bang taong ito, result-oriented ba siya? Ito bang taong ito, gusto niya masaya, happy, happy. Ito bang taong ito, gusto niya chill lang, pero, you know, long-term ang, ang, ang friendship. Or, mm-hmm. ito taong gusto niya ano siya, um, may thinker, gusto niya nag or what. So, something like that. Um, knowing what is very important. And it takes time. It builds time. Medyo, medyo ano lang siya. Um, um, it takes a lot of awareness. It takes a lot of self-discovery. So, I assume that everyone is not okay. So, do um, everything make them feel loved in any way. Uh-uh. Well, ayun po, nandun na tayo sa, sa statement na yun, sir, no? Kasi despite of this uh, pandemic, talagang dapat makita natin yung positive side ng nangyayari. Because ayun nga, sinasabi naman natin that everything happens for a reason. And um, ngayong social distancing and sobrang limited po nung time, I mean, limited yung pwede nating magawa sa mga loved ones natin to uh, maparamdam sa kanila na there's still there's a rainbow after uh, after the rain di ba so yun sinasabi nila na yun. how can we connect with our loved ones despite of this pandemic and social distancing um, na kailangan pa rin nating celebrate yung joy na sinasabi sa buhay i get very very obvious and uh, tingin ko very available at this point is really to uh, any form of video call platforms. Eh. So mm-hmm. there is um, right now. We also have Zoom and other platforms. Eh. So just recently, my nanay had had her birthday. So yung mga kuya ko from different places, we had this call um, all together. I mean, from Qatar, meron sa Laguna, meron sa Tipolo and the Pasig. So sama-sama kami on Zoom. Wow. Uh-uh. Uh, you know, we can, we can do it, we can maximize. Um, isipin na lang natin na ngayon lang to, uh, magkikita-kita natin tayo, but uh, siguro mas parang pamiss effect. Uh, so medyo may pamiss effect. But you can, you know, celebrate over Zoom. Um, nagbago lang yung ating um, mundo because 
medyo ngayon may intervention na ng technology but you know ang importante is yung spirit of 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 there uh, okay. and of course for you for example you kapag medyo hindi rin tayo kaganoon ka kagaling mag-organize ng mga event um i it is best that you you identify who among your friends or your family member na happy go lucky type you know let that person um organize and the uh, the video call so that mm-hmm. ano para walang the ano life of the party na no? saka parang walang walang dead air so kapag uh-huh. mga happy go lucky yan ang mga <laughs> ano talagang makulit lang yan so yes, ikaw yes. uh it's natural kung ano ginagawa mo dati gawin mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. So yeah, that, that, that's one that you can, you can do during this season. I uh, I agree with you on that, sir. And um, one thing then, siguro na I realized during this pandemic or during this lockdown is if you can see joy, be one, di ba? Kasi kung ayon nga kung hinahanap mo sa ibang tao yung yung saya or yung positivity, kung hindi mo yun mahanap sa kanila, be one para naman ma madami sila or mahawaan sila ng positivity and joy, pagiging joyful mo. Right? Okay. So, next question naman tayo, sir. We have few questions na lang po. So, uh, stay, stay lang po tayo dyan. Um, next is, how can we do, what can we do to help everyone right now? Uh, yeah, that, I mean, that's a broad question. Sobrang mm-hmm. lawak na tanong, but um, ang, ang sa akin lang is, of course, we have to go to a place where everyone is in right now, uh, the social okay. media. So yes. it's best we, we if, if most of the people are there, you know, it's best that, you know, be there. And uh, not only be there, but also maghasik ka ng inspirasyon. So I... I, I but some I, people kasi, sir, ano, naghahasik sila ng negativity and bashing yeah. lang sila ng bash. So hindi ko yeah. alam kung paano sila i-handle after Uh, nakaka yeah. ano sila eh nakaka form sila ng negativity din at some point so yeah yeah i mean that, that's that's ano that, that's a uh, that's really happening lalang sa social mm-hmm. media parang ganun um and uh, of course i guess ano nga eh guys ay ngayong punto ko eh na na you have to be aware of the emotional capacity of your friends um mm-hmm. like me uh, to let you know i'm a I, i'm a political person eh um uh, mm-hmm. i i nga yun na highlight ko kanina na i'm pretty study a school of government um i'm i'm very political i'm i i i i love talking about politics and just to let you know i'm from pasig and uh, one of one of our friends i see si vico soto um wow. he's also a former i could say one of the former um uh speakers namin sa, sa mzone training and uh, mm-hmm. you know, we have I, we have a lot of of of, of discussion that in about politics and I, I love sharing about what I, I I feel about politics but something that I learned also along the way that um, not everyone is political and not everyone can can contain the bloods of your opinions so sometimes mm-hmm. hindi na opinion ang kailangan ng tao kundi ang kailangan ng tao ngayon ay action so that is yeah. why uh, if I would uh, personally uh, in, in social media Um, one of my ways para at least medyo, you know, I'm able to speak my my mind in politics um, is really to, to activate my art of writing. Uh, by the way, I'm also an author. Eh, so parang I, I, wow. make sure, oh, wow. I make sure na parang kapag ako nagsusulat ako ng mga political ano ko, dapat medyo, you know, iniisip ko gusto kong dagdagan ng parang malapapong ang dating na parang, you know, medyo fun-fun lang ng ko. Eh. So, at the same time, I'm able to speak what I feel that I believe is right. Pero at the same time, yung mga yung mga mga friends ko sa, sa social media nagahalang sa mga posts ko. Pero sa totoo lang, I, I want. Yung mga to... friendship over sir dahil yan na yung sa mga political views. Talaga exactly. mayroong mga nasisirang friendship. <laughs> exactly. Um, I think it's more ano eh, um balancing it eh, of the two eh. So hindi lang siya more on parang hahayaan mo na na ano na na mawala yung relasyon nyo, you know, at di mo rin hayaan na, na manahimik ka sa isang bagay. So, dapat ibabalance mo yung dalawa and yeah. kailangan tipulhin mo yung sitwasyon. Hindi yung parang, you know, you're always playing safe 
on. Nandito lang ako. Ito na para, you know, uh, especially um, if you would ask me in our industry, mga, mga, mga motivational speaker, I, I, could not, I, I will not consider myself as motivational speaker. I consider myself as a leadership teacher more than a motivational speaker. Pero um, they see me as mm. like, I'm a motivational speaker. So sa amin, sa industriya, is that kailangan a political ka sa mga bagay-bagay. So nangyayari oh. is that, siyempre, parang, it's it's a uh, both uh, negative thing like una um you know kapag naging so naging a political ka parang sometimes parang wala ka namang backbone pag sobrang naging political ka naman <laughs> di ba parang somehow parang medyo medyo hindi na okay sa mental health ng mga friends mo so you have to strike a balance but more or less in general sense in general sense is that you really have to uh, aw- be aware of the emotional capacity of your friends yeah. Yeah. Uh, but at uh, the na, ito ba, sa iba iba tayo ng level, eh? like for example, um during my high school days, um isa sa binibigay sa aking kurso ay nursing. Pero takot ako sa dugo. <laughs> so, <laughs> ibig sabihin, may mga tao na kayang tignan ng dugo. Uh, like, like my wife, uh, sa speech language pathologist, and um, one of their favorite subjects nung, nung college nila sa UP, yung nagbubukas ng patay. Or, dissecting po, parang ganun. Or if... Dissecting talaga ng patay. So, sila akit din yun. Pero ako, ako kaya yun. So, ganun din pagdating sa mga post natin sa social media. Hindi lahat um, kakayanin ng, ng, ng mga friends natin. So, sometimes kailangan mo ng art of, you know, um, you you share your message, pero at the same time, kakayanin, kakayanin din ng i-digest. So, yun. I mean, more of being aware. Mm-hmm friends emotional capacity so and of course the best way to help your friends is to build a, a community a community where in encourage one another um not only you know for negative na lang, you know pwede mo silang i-send sa mundo na yun, and then you know you can you can encourage one another and be a source of inspiration as well yes. so and i think it's more of last na lang last point na bago ko makalimutan going back to that idea uh, yes hindi natin dapat aware sa emotion ng ating mga mga friends but I think the the long term uh, is also to help them to understand and yes. navigate emotions eh. parang hindi lang binibabysit mo sila but also you're helping them and giving them some situations where in they can you know stretch their their, their emotional uh, capacity tapos yung mga neutrons kaya na nilang you know, kaya na nilang i-process sa utak nila and kaya na nilang har- harapin so that, you know, that's a long-term solution. Hindi lang yung parang ubas tayo ng ubas na sa mga bagay na. Because, you know, uh, recently I posted on my Facebook yung, yung this girl is a full of offense. Um, whether you like it or not, people will offend you. Yeah, magig- magiging personal at personal din po talaga yung mga atake sa social media pag nag-aaway kahit political yung pinag-uusapan. Consciously and unconsciously, hindi lang political, but of course, any 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 topic, mm-hmm. basically. Mm-hmm. Hindi lang pwede, hindi lang, um, I mean, kahit na yung uh, simpleng bagay, nag, si, nag, nagsabunatan si Maha Salvador, tsaka si, yung mga, yung mga showbiz, you know, <laughs> oh, I tell you, oh, oh. I mean, we are, we are, we will be offended, whether we like it or not, consciously and unconsciously. Mm-hmm. Yes. Office, ganun, uh, yung office mate mo, na parang hindi ka naman, kinakausap pero na-offend ka sa kanya sa personality mm-hmm. niya. You know, mm-hmm. we're being offended. But yeah. The most important thing is that help those people to, to understand and navigate with their emotions. Eh. So, mm-hmm. Hindi lang parang matagin to be makatekres nila pa makakatakas ng negative feeling. So, something like that. I mean, yeah. mahabang discussion but that's a broad idea of what I'm trying to say. One thing I learned din po siguro ano, sir, is you cannot control everyone's emotion kasi talaga eh. You can only control yourself. So, pa- parang, siguro, kung para hindi na lumala, ikaw na lang yung mag-adjust. Or, kasi kapag nakikipag-away ka rin sa social media, ang toxic. Like, I've done that several times and nakaka-ubo siya ng energy. So, parang, kung gusto mo lang siguro ng educate I mean, ang pinakamadali naman din pong gawin siguro is to respect each other. And talagang wag maging offensive sa lahat ng... Kung may ipoprove kang point, doon lang dapat. Hindi dapat 
nagaano sa uh, personal yeah. ano. Yep. So, eto na sir, um second to the last po tayong question. So, what could we learn from this event? What could we learn from this pandemic um for two months na nandito tayo nakakulong? Ano po ba yung sa tingin mong magiging takeaways ng mga tao sa pandemic na to? Yeah, I guess given the the things that we have discussed earlier, um, mm-hmm. an open or what, um, siguro one thing that is that we have to value relationships talaga. Um, yeah. We have to neglect the fact that, na, you know, relationship is really important um, in this season. Na at the end of the day, I mean, marami kang ma-achieve sa buhay, um, mag-grow yeah. yung business, um, marami kang titles uh, at the uh, end of your or your names, meron ka mga MED, PhD, CPA, attorney, marami. So that's not bad. That's not bad. But um, at the end of the day, I mean, we will go back for the relationship. very important. That's why I am an advocate of not disposable relationship. We say disposable relationship is that uh, this generation is easy to dispose friends. Yung tipong ay nagkasundo sa isang point and friend. And I think, um, it's a personal choice. It's up to you yeah. if you want to do that. But for me, is that if we're a friend right now, I'm a friend die forever, kahit na, you know, mag-clash yung ideas natin. So I guess something that we have learned is that we, we have to, to prioritize long-term relationships um, mm-hmm. in any possible I mean, in any way, in any aspect of life. And of course, uh, this is really stretches us. That's the second thing that I've learned. Na mm-hmm. parang God, then, I mean, God does not want us to suffer, and I believe that. Um, but he allows it to happen because he wants to spread us. He stretch us to the point that, uh, hey, God is doing something in your life and he's preparing for something greater and something bigger. So, um, and at the end of the day, you know, we will go back um, to God. Um, we came from the Lord and we will go back to the Lord. And because story we are all aware. Lahat ng mga nakikinig ko dito. You are well. You are all aware of the story of the of those people na sa na sa na na COVID uh, COVID or you know what hindi nila mamatay na sila or what and they were they are saying last prayer. But you know, I think that reminds us na parang this world is really temporary. Our life is very very short. Yeah. So something that I also recognize is that since our life is short, sana gamitin natin sa something worthwhile and uh, yeah. invest more in your life purpose and why we are doing and why we are living. Bakit tayo nabubuhay? So, natin ibuos. If, if we are really called, like, like you guys, you are in the financial business, you know, I believe that God is using you on that area and, uh, you know, be, be great to that. And I admire how you you, you thrive in, in social media with 400,000 followers on Facebook and not only on Facebook but you also have offline followers uh, I believe that you have to focus on that I mean that would be the last thing that you will do in, in, in this world but um, you know I believe that at the end of the day pagdating sa ano, pagpupuli na tayo ni Lord yun pa rin yung unan ay pa rin yung ginagawa na helping and educating people to, 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 to be financially free so mm-hmm. yeah to focus on life purpose life is short life is short yeah. That's that's beautiful and 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 tama naman po lahat ng sinabi niyo. And lastly, sir, um, eto kasi kanina pa natin na mention ng prayer and um, uh, uh, si God. So kasi this is a difficult time once again. And I know there are people na nalulus na yung faith nila because sobrang nihirapan sila during this pandemic. So my last question po would be, what can you say to those who are having issues with their faith due to what's happening and the troubles it caused? You know, I, 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 I also feel that, you know, um, parati ko nga siya, sabi ko nga sa inyo, parati ko siya sabi in, uh, from, from the beginning to the end, I would like to emphasize this, that um, never stop praying. praying. So prayer is really helpful in this season um, because this is the time that we have to, to really stretch our, our, our spiritual muscle. And, uh, you know, I could say na prayer, uh, it could not change the situation it could not directly address our, or I mean, it could not change our situation. Meron pa rin tayong utang, meron pa rin tayong pabayaran sa kanal ko, meron pa tayong mga pabayaran 
pray or what. You know, it cannot change our it, it might not change our situation, but I could say that it can change our perspective. Na parang mm-hmm. at the, end of the, day, the prayer gives us access to the heaven. Na parang before we are earth bounded, iniisip lang natin yung mga mga problema natin. But when we pray, um, we we direct ourselves to God, and uh, we see the eternal thing. And also prayer because of our, our faith. You know, prayer redirects us from what is seen to the unseen. So, parang yung mga I, I love this. Uh, uh, I love this song. Very classic. Genre, parang yung one way. Parang it, parang there's verse there na it's about not. I mean, it's it's about what you. It's not what you see. Uh, faith is not got the line, but uh, it's about the unseen world, that the mm-hmm. heaven prayer makes us even more vulnerable as well. Parang through prayer, we can be honest to God, you know, pwede natin sa mga na nasaktan tayo or broken, and I feel that God is really close to the broken heart. And mm-hmm. I feel, you know, through prayer, it can use everything in our lives. It may not change everything, but it can change our perspective. And through that, you know, you perspective Natin. It can move, move us forward. So yeah, that's my number one thing that I, I would like to you know to to, to to ask those people who are watching here is that continue to pray. And if you are still struggling prayer, you know, the second thing for again is that always have a community who will you know stretch your 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 spiritual muscle. So sila yung mga tao na na makakulong sa yon. Yeah, prayer is powerful talaga, no, sir. Talagang libre siya. And para ka lang makikipag-usap sa tatay mo kung anong nangyayari sa buhay mo. Kasi somehow, um, personally, somehow, prayer talaga po talaga nakakagaan siya talaga ng pakiramdam. So, yun, siguro mga ka-TGFI, dapat talaga, don't forget always, like, pagkagising, pagtulog, nagpa-pray tayo, and always trust God. Ayan. So, yeah, sir, I think that's it. Thank you so much uh, for that inspirational takeaways. For sure, marami pong uh, natutunan na ating mga ka-TGFI. But before we end this, meron po ba kayong gustong ipromote na mga Facebook page nyo or anything po na pwede nyo ipromote po sa inyo? Yeah, before anything else, I just want to say hi to those people na kasi kanina we 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 had our parang a pay, I mean, post on our, our on our Facebook page. So I was mm-hmm. mga manono. I just want to say mm-hmm. hi to Dennis, si Jeffrey, uh, Marie. I think he he is is watching right now. Um, si PB, hello, Marie, mm-hmm. yes, Pampanga, Melinda, Tibayan, and of course Carl, Angelo, Robles. So mm-hmm. yeah, hello to those who are watching. I appreciate uh, your time. And siguro last na lang um, before I end, uh, I want to take this opportunity to announce. Um, of course, follow our, our Facebook page, um, M Zone Training Philippines, and you can also follow my page, Marlon Malmisa, because uh, I'm going to announce something that will be helpful to those who would like to start their their speaking public career um I, I, have a, I have an event wherein i would share some of the best practices of my of my company together with one of our uh, basically just to give you a background i started the business with 1500 in my pocket but right wow. now it's mm-hmm. a million uh, a million training company training company so wow. i share with you some of the secrets of how to start your 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 speaking and training um, career. So, I, this is... Um, parang parang magdating ako niyan, sir, ah. <laughs> this will be posted on, on our Facebook page, Amazon Training Philippines, and uh, my page, Marlon Molmisa. Of course, with Benchito Tampon, who is now an international speaker. At the age of 22, he started this business. Wow. Um, it's, uh, he's earning a lot, uh, a million of pesos per month uh, for his business. So, that, that's it. I think uh, we're going to share. We, we have we will have amazing um, uh, time with all of you. I hope that we see you. you uh, we all all of you. Uh, I hope that we see you all there. So, lang. Thank you 
uh, for having me. Um, Thank you so much, salamat. sir. Maraming salamat din po. And um, don't forget, ilalagay, ilalagay naman po namin yung mga emails and Facebook page nyo sa comment section para mapuntahan ng mga viewers natin. So thank you so much, sir. By the way, before we end, we will be having our first Finlit Summit online this July 11 and 12. We will be discussing different topics that can help you to earn more. We will top topics such as stock market, real estate, personal financing, even side gig opportunities. So for inquiries, email us at tg, uh, info at tgfi.co or message us here in our Facebook page, The Global Philippine Investor. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and maraming maraming salamat Sir Marlon for being here with us today, tonight. Maraming po kami natutunan and hopefully may invite namin ulit kayo for another Motivational Monday. So thank you so much Sir. Maraming salamat din mga ka-TGFI and don't forget to share and like this video. Maraming salamat po. This is Jamie Franco. Muli magandang umaga, magandang hapon at magandang gabi sa inyong lahat, ka-TGFI. Bye-bye!